So, big open round room. I'm sure this doesn't mean anything bad. So, let's let L through. So she's headed down the tunnel, and meanwhile, we have problems. Problems for which I'm going to head this way. Hi there. I'd rather my encounter with Needlers is more on my own terms rather than having them coming at me from all angles. But we have three of them in here, so it's still pretty busy. Oh, one's going up to the ceiling. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I think they're messing with each other's strategies a bit, and that's just kind of silly. Sounds like things are a bit rough for L, But we still have our own problem to deal with. Kind of a pain. But now the way is open, and we're going to go ahead and chug a health drink. Now, on this passage, there is one thing you want to be sure to do go in here. Because there is a photo. Nora Holloway sitting on the town hall steps. I don't think there's anything else in here, though. Doesn't appear to be. <coughs> and actually, now that we're done with needlers and lurkers for a while, switching back to the knife. What happened here? Where's L? Oh god, that's L's radio. There's so much blood everywhere. Could she have survived this? I have to find her. So all that's really left to do is for us to get out of here. So, as long as we're here, gonna look around a bit. Because I know there was a boarded up door in our house. What's going on here? Where'd this come from? I've gotta find another way inside. Okay, we're all barbed wired up. But only as we approach, that's kind of interesting. But yeah, we're not visiting home. There was also a newspaper article I was told that I overlooked in the playground area, so let's go have a look at that. As long as I'm here. Anything in here I should be aware of? Whoa, hi! Whoa, seriously? 
All right. Schism knife finisher. Awesome. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, drop my combo. But there we go. Radio's nice and quiet, so now we can look around this area. The newspaper article, it's supposed to be on one of the benches, I think. Nothing, nothing. I mean, there's a lot of benches around here. One of these. You serious? <laughs> it completely removed it, so we came in here for nothing. Awesome. There was a newspaper here. It's gone now. Oh well, if nothing else, we got to demonstrate a schism finisher. So I suppose that counts for something. I'll have to remember to show the newspaper article on a secondary playthrough. It isn't really plot relevant or anything like that, just kind of a flavor text thing, but I still do want to show it. Separated. I'm looking for her now. Where are you? I'm just now leaving the station to find Fitch. Look, we need to stick together. Meet me at his office. Maybe he knows where Elle is. Okay, I'll meet you there. God, I hope Elle's okay. So, our next target destination is Fitch's office. And hey, we already had that marked on our map. But yeah, for those who were worried that Wheeler was dead, he's just fine. As for our baggage, well, hell if I know. Badung Ching, thank you very much. I'll be here all week. Tip your waitresses. But we're not going to Fitch's office just yet. We're going to make a pit stop over here at Town Hall. I think we're actually going to spend some ammo in here. Main reason we're going back this way is the safe point. Because this part of the game is a little bit sparse on safe points. And this is going to be the last one we're going to see for a little while. No smoking in town hall. Yeah, if you see the smog kind of hop like that after you shoot it, you know you've hit the weak spot. There we go. But Roam, I hear you asking. There's a perfectly nice boarded up door there. Use the axe. We'll actually do that later. For whatever reason, they don't expect you to go in there just yet. The thing you find there, it's actually out of sequence if you get it at this point. We're going to be directed back here after going to Dr. Fitch's office, so we'll handle it then. For now, though, we're going to go ahead and save, take a quick refreshing pause. Be glad that we're out of the sewers. For a sewer level, that actually wasn't too terribly bad. For an escort mission, that wasn't terribly bad. So with that, back in a moment. Alright, so before we leave entirely, as long as we're still at Town Hall, something I kind of want to check out. Well, yeah, Judge Holloway got out of town. So, let's be on our way. I was just kind of curious about that. So with that, it's time to head for Dr. Fitch's place.
this point, you pretty much just want to ignore any and all enemies. Just follow the trail of blood around here. You can kind of see it on the street there. And suddenly the dog's not bothering us anymore. Hey. Excuse me. Sir. Hey, you. Dr. Fitch. What do you want? Are you all right? Whose blood is that? What have you done? Stay away from me. Of course we can't really do that. We have to head on in after him. It's a poster warning about STDs. What a wonderful thing to be greeted by as soon as your flashlight enters the room. Yeah. But par for the course, this place has definitely seen better days. This table is covered in dust. It looks like no one has e used it for a long time. But hey, it's a doctor's office, so... Health drink! Lovely. How are we doing there? Still pretty okay. No getting in there. Southeastern University. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Medicine, and by the virtue of the authority vested in them by the Congress of the United States, the Board of Trustees of Southeastern University, has conferred upon Martin Fitch, Medicine Doctor, together with all honors, rights, and privileges thereto pertaining, in recognition of all requirements for this degree. Well, at least he's licensed. No getting in there. Or there. And so our options are quickly narrowed down. Scarlet Fitch, in her bedroom with all of her dolls. This shelf is full of dolls. How can you just sit there eating pizza? It feels like they're watching me, like they're waiting for something. doll on a medical exam table? That's not creepy at all. Well, we have a teddy bear down there. A little girl's dresser. Why would Dr. Fitch put all this stuff in here? This case is locked. But now we have a sudden outpouring of nurses. Can they actually open the door and get in here? <laughs> okay, this is just silly. They're definitely getting closer. I've been told that the axe is actually a viable option against the nurses. And, yeah, it seems to be. Okay. That makes them a good deal easier in late game. Nice to know. I actually was never aware of that. You have to do fully charged power strikes, though. Whoa! Axe finisher. Okay. Then, there we go. So, yes, I'd like to thank Daryl Brennan for telling me about that. I honestly never knew that that was a good option for them gonna go ahead and top off. 
But they charged out of here, so now we can get inside. We got a small key. Dear Mr. Fitch, I was so disappointed that you missed our appointment last Thursday. This is the third time in a month that you've not appeared at the allotted time. I implore you to reschedule as soon as you can. We've made such progress over the past few months. I can't stress how important it is that we maintain regular contact to ensure a speedy recovery. I look forward to seeing you soon. Sincerely, Dr. Slater, Chief Resident, Psychiatric Department, Alcamilla Hospital. Because, you know, the general hospital at Alcamilla has one of those now, apparently. But we also get... Serum number three. We'll just hang on to that for now. I'm sure we'll need it sooner or later. But now that we have the small key, we can use that in here. <laughs>